Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Tableau Prep class and today I'm gonna show you how to import multiple files in Tableau at once, okay? So let's do it together! So guys, here you can see my Tableau Prep Builder screen and as I told you before, there is a video called uh, Tableau Prep for Beginners. To connect to a new data, it is easy in Tableau Prep. You just have to click in this button, connect to the data, and then select what kind of file we want to input in our project and then after selected, just sort the file and open in this button over here, okay? In case of files, if you are connecting to a new data source, you can just go to here in the server part and then select one server and connect it with your credentials, okay? So it's easy, as, as easier as the file mode, okay? It's not a good, a big deal for you. But before connecting to this data, guys, as you see in the title of this video, I want to import multiple files, okay? So I have to create this file in order to input them to Tableau Prep. And how to do that? Just let's move on to an Excel file. I will open a new Excel project here, blank workbook, and then I will just create two fields in this document. The first field I will call date and the second one is store. Okay, related to dates, I will just put it 1 January 1st, 2022. Then I'm going to create like 10 lines, 10 rows related to this date. Okay, then the stores A, B, C, and D. And then I will just uh, copy and paste under here and then I will finish with A. So I have in this data source only four stores A, B, C and D. Okay, then I will go just rename the sheet name. I will call this one data source one. And I'm gonna save this file in my computer. Okay, in my computer in one in one folder called input tableau prep this one okay i'm gonna save this one here and then i will call this uh workbook as data source one as well save it and then just let me just put it off here so save it perfect now i'm gonna create a new one the second one so the second one i will just change the dates here 2022 so these dates will related will be related to february then the stores i will change the stores e f g and h then i'm gonna repeat the names of the stores and finish in the last one okay this one i will call data source 2 okay and I'm gonna save this workbook in the same place, but now with the name data source two. Save. Okay, I already saved it. So let's close the pro the Excel file and the, just to check the folder if I have both workbooks created. Yes, I have it. So data source one and data source two. Okay, guys. So let's go back to Tableau Prep and now connect to one of that files. So I'm gonna go to my desktop input and I'm gonna just connect it with data source one. Okay, this Excel file. Okay, when I do that, as I told you in the last video of Tableau Prep, Tableau Prep for beginners, if you don't know how to create this kind of data source, just uh, watch that video before continuing this one, okay? So here I have the data source connected with the fields, data and stores. If I click in the bottom run, I don't have the, the bottom play here, not to run, the run all flows here. And now to update my data, I, I can just click in this button over here 
but I've, I had my data already updated, so I cannot click here. If you look at here, it's, not, uh, it's unavailable, this button, play button, okay? Why? It's because we already have the information in our project. So I'm gonna see it included a new step called clean step. And then I can see that I have only the information related to data source one. So now the magic will happen. So we have just to go back to this input and then in this part of tables here, just click on in tables and then instead settings, you will click in this part tables. Okay. Then you will just select this part union multiple tables. When you do that, Tableau Prep just uh, will add some settings here as that I will show you how it works. So it's easy. First, first of all, we have just to create some rule related to the name of the, the files. Okay. That Tableau Prep will see in our folder. So I can just include it here. If I want to Tableau Prep just met with a name that I will put it over here or unmet with this name. So in my case, I want to Tableau Prep met with this name. So I will just select the first part. Okay. But in this case, I have some troubles because the name that I selected here is called data source one. And as I can see in my folder, the other file is called data source number two. So I just don't want to include this number in the name of the file that Tableau have to input. Okay. So to do that, just to fix this trouble in order to input all the files, I can just erase the number here and put some asterisk. If you use this kind of asterisk, Tableau Prep will just recognize that this one is the data source. Tableau Prep will search for data source uh, in the name of the files dot X L S X. Okay. As an extension data type file type. Sorry. So, uh, Tableau prep, will just check the beginning of the name of the files and also the extension and we'll just ignore any informations after this name, which means that both either data source one or data source two will be considered to Tableau prep in order to upload in the project. Okay. In this case, if we move up a little bit, the settings, you can see here guys, uh, after you selected union multiple tables that Tableau prep just, uh, show us this part search in, which means that here we can just uh, select it where Tableau prep need to look at the files. Okay. To update. So in this case to upload, sorry, in this case, I'm going to just put it input Tableau prep because this is the folder that I want to put all my files and import to Tableau prep at once. Right? So after you do that, we, we, you finish this configuration over here related to the name, you will see in this under part over here, the files that Tableau already found and the names of worksheets and the name of creations and the name and the size of the files, these files will be considered uh, as valid files for Tableau import. Okay. So this is like an overview of the data and files that Tableau will consider in this project. So I'm just gonna use it this one and then I'm gonna click in this button over here, apply. When I do that, this means that Tableau just, uh, reloaded the informations and now we have all the informations over here and also you you can see here that tableau creates two new columns in the input data setting over here input data step so tableau created the field called table names 
and file path. And why Tableau did that? Because now it's easy for us as developers to just understand uh, which data comes from which source, which data source, okay? So even we can check the table names because it's a, an Excel file, so there is some sheets that Tableau show us here. And also the file path, which means the name and the path, which means the name of the file in the path that you describe it as the goal of Tableau to connect it to data, okay? Right, so now we have these two new fields. If you don't want to just import these new fields, it's easy, just unselect them here. I don't want to use table names and I don't want to use the file path. If you do that, just move on to the clean step again and you will see that now our data are just uploaded without any information related to table names or even file path, right? So as you can see here, it's easier. And if you just add some new file in, tab in the folder, in the folder that you map it here, with this structure in the name and these extensions as a file type, you will see that Tableau just will considering this new file as part of your data source as well, right? So guys, that's all for today. If you like it, don't forget to give us your thumbs up. Also, if you are not a sub, just subscribe in our YouTube channel and please share our content with someone that you think will be really good to understand and to learn how to import some data like this in this way in Tableau Prep. Okay, guys, that's all. So see you in the next video. Bye.